Hello. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's it's really cool. so funny. I've got, I've got a question for you, Bainsy. Sure. Going back a little bit. What's your favourite Doors album? Uh, honestly, man, Waiting for the Sun. Nice. Good choice. Good choice. I'm torn. See, the first one and the last one, so The Doors and L.A. Woman are my two, but I can never quite pick between well, them. It, it's just trying to pick which one's right because L.A. Woman's got La Merica, and obviously L.A. Woman, Where's the Storm. The first one's got... Uh, uh, strange, I uh, know, not strange days. Um, Crystal Ship, the cri- which is I love the that. Crystal that's probably band. that's yeah, probably one of my great. favorite door tunes ever because it, just the way it starts off and it, it just it's it's haunting but it's cool at the same time. You know. Yeah, when we when we wrote um, always about you off of that last EP, I said to Chris, I want the the solo to be a, a, a joint thing between the piano, uh, sorry, the keyboard and the organ, sorry, and the guitar. And uh, <clears throat> the two tracks I sort of quoted at him when we wrote that bit, which ended up as was exactly that I was supposed to think it was <clears throat> two I quoted to him was the crystal ship by the doors I was like I want that kind of feel um, and then um, I always forget the name of the track but the Deep Purple track that's the first track on Deep Purple in rock uh, and it's going to really really annoy me that I can't remember it so I'm going to quickly google it um, oh bloody hell I can't type fast <laughs> anyway whatever it is it's a really famous song um, but anyway it's got this um, brilliant bit where the, the keys and the and the guitar um, interchange um, sort of yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're thinking about Iron Lung are you? I'm not what sorry? Iron Lung? No I'm okay. talking about Speed King oh okay, okay. Speed King. yeah yeah so just the, just the, the it, I mean half the songs are solo to be honest but in, in that yeah. solo uh, it's kind of it, the guitar leads into the keys and then the, the keys take over a bit and then they kind of uh, sort of switch up and go between them and I was like if we could do that sort of thing but kind of like the crystal ship right. and what we ended up with was nothing like either actually <laughs> the crystal was a big influence uh, on that because at that point I was listening to that uh, well I mean you, you can't go wrong, right? Because it just before because the, the slow build and then before you drift onto unconsciousness, I'd like to have one more kiss. It just it just it just the the, the flow is just so perfect, and you know the the last music side track here from before this song is is we were watching Arrested Development last night and we were watching season four and. It was uh, uh, Job's Arrested Development, so they played a few times. They played "Hello, Hello, Hello, Silence" by uh, uh, Simon Garfunkel. Yeah, so which is a great song. Aw- another awesome tune, right? So uh, there's our quick connection there. So I'll, I'll stop talking like normal, and, <laughs> <laughs> and back to the music. <laughs> and and we're back. Be, we'll this that. just in. <laughs> Bonesy won't shut up. You know. <laughs> That's so, not. Yeah. <laughs> So here, yeah. so here we go with a brand new Georgia song, and these leaves are awesome. This one's called Far Gone. Dig this. Yeah. 
to, too far gone to, too far gone for you to stay. Doja. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was. <laughs> How to speak Australian, right? <laughs> right there. That's very appropriate. The Ashes is on at the moment. I'm not sure he's winning. I don't really understand Cricket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's happening. So, uh, yeah. So, that was Dorja with Far Gone. That's our newest single. And like I said before, these ladies are, are so talented and, and it's like a, su- such a, like a strong presence. That each song is just boom right in your face and just kick ass and hard and solid and love the vocals. It just got that cool kind of like eighties slash nineties rock um, mixed in like alternative mix with the kind of the tail end of the eighties kind of like sort of hair band ish sort of thing. But either way, fantastic tune. Love the vocals and waiting to hear more. Yeah, I love the counter rhythms in it where the the lead guitar is you know in, in and I say lead guitar but it's it's just, you know first guitar and second guitar rather than lead and rhythm really because they're both. Um, yeah, you know, in there, um, but in the verses, you know, the, the the rhythm guitar in that or the second guitar in that is absolutely bang in with the bass and synced in, and then the sort of lead guitar, the riffy one, and the drums are kind of together doing something, and then when you put all four together and layer the vocal on top, uh, well, first of all, you put all four together and the, the two kind of different rhythms that they're playing sync in perfectly, which I think is really smart when you really listen to that one you know, not in decent speakers and you hear the left and right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the vocal to cut across that on the top is, is absolutely uh, outstanding. It's really, um, I'm not sure if I've ever noticed that before. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we played that song loads of times, but it really stood out to my mind, the speaker. But yeah, proper decent. I absolutely love that. Uh, it's a really cool track and they're a great band. Right on. So we still have a few more to get to. Not a whole lot more, but a few more. And this is one of my favorite UK bands. The band is called Mr. Susan. And this is off their album, A Popularity Contest. This one's called Certain Uncertain, which many of us are. So this is a very kind of fitting. And the video is actually pretty funny. It's almost like a Primus video. So check out, check out their, their uh, YouTube channel as well. So here we go with Mr. Susan and Certain Uncertain. Dig this. Say the Gordon Zone is not organic. It's funny, you know.
Right on, Mr. Susan, and uh, everybody knows that's one of my favorite bands from the UK, and that's off their album, a popular contest. I've interviewed them uh, quite a few times, and they're a lot of fun, and I remember commenting saying, you know what, you guys are, are a very talented band, and <laughs> what the band, member, band member said is like, oh, well, we all have beards. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I meant, but it, it, he was joking around, right? But but still a lot of fun and uh they they're a good bunch of guys and uh the, their their first album the ep the bell dumb combination actually came from a band that one of the members their, their grandfather's band was called back in like the 40s oh really 